with everyone's uh, permission, Rabbi Adam, the School of Mitzvot, for what you have uh, accomplished, and for each and every one of you that participated in the, in the Siyum. It didn't take a day or two, a week or two, a month or two, almost three years? Yeah, three years. Two years. Oh, Hashem, a lot of <laughs> accomplishment. Um, and it brings me to the famous part in Masechet uh, Barachot that you also, uh, when we finish, when we do a Siyum Masechet, who mentions the tefillah of Rabbi Nechunya ben Nakana, that he will say a tefillah every time he would come out of the Beta Midrash. And he would uh, thank God, Shisam Chelkenu Mirushbe Bet Midrash, Losam Chelkenu Mirushbe Kanot, Baruch Hashem, that we were Zoche to be learning and not just those people hanging around the corners. Yes, we wake up early, they wake up early, but what do we wake up to? Yeah, we wake up to, to Bet Midrash, to Tfilah, and they wake up to Zarim Bet Elim. Yes. They say they both, we both toiling, but we are toiling and we're getting our reward and then toiling and they're not getting our reward. And the question is, that, that rises is, what do you mean that they waking up early and they're doing whatever they do and they, they're not picking like the, the fruits of their, their work or what they do? Anyone in any trait that, that they have, they feel they accomplish themselves. And whatever they accomplish, this is the reward that they get. So if somebody, uh, yeah, is a, is a tailor, and he gets a work, and he gets a work to do, he finishes the work, he gets paid, yeah? A person who, uh, who does anything else, they finish the work and they do. So Chachamim tell us that there's a difference. In a way, you're correct, but in another way, say that example of a tailor, somebody says, you know, I know you're doing a good job. You finish, you, uh, I order a suit from you, I'll pay you uh, $800 once it's finished. And the guy works, and after a few weeks, he brings him the suit, and he wears it, and says, I'm sorry, the sleeve is a little short. And he goes back to him and says, what do you mean, but I, I worked so hard, I worked so hard. I said, yeah, but, but I, I didn't order one with the short sleeves, so please, go ahead, take your time, come back, whatever it takes, and once you finish the job, then the job is done, and, I, and I'll pay you for what, you for what I was supposed to get. He says, but when we say we are Amelim, people who, who learn the Torah, the learning itself, the toiling itself, is what you get sakhar for. It doesn't matter if you learn something a day or two or a month or two. It doesn't matter how much you accomplish. But the point that they want to bring is how much you toil, how much an effort you are putting. And for you to be working on something day in, day out, week in, week out, for two years, the sakhar that you are getting is not only for what you have accomplished, and I'm sure you have accomplished a lot, but even without accomplishing, we say, yeah, I, I learned, but I, I forgot some of it, and, and this I don't remember, this I don't remember, but still the fact that you were sitting every day or once a week or whatever period of time, and you were actually putting your mind to learn, the learning itself is the is the reward. You get the reward for, for learning. This is what it says in the Torah when it says, Im telechu. Simple meanings. Yeah, if you should follow the covenants, the mitzvot, you should walk in them, then I'll give you all the reward. But the deeper meaning might mean, chukotai means lachkok, chakuk. Chakuk is like etched in us. The fact is that Day in, day out, we, we learn something. It becomes a part of us. It becomes really etched in us. And when it's etched in us, this is the Torah and this is the reward that we're getting, except the reward, of course, for, for learning the Torah. So again, I want to wish you, all of you,
לסיים מסכת ראש השנה, כך תזכו לסיים מסכתות הרבה, not one, not two, not three, but בעזרת השם. One day, you see before you know it, you're ready to sit, you finish all the shots. Yeah? So, if now it takes uh, seven or, or seven and a half years, no, I, I think it's really is a stage, you know, after a few years that you are in it, in the learning, you said, okay, so why don't we uh, just learn, do that for me and follow, you know, there's so many, and even in our community, Ryan, uh, Ryan and, uh, and others doing that for me, you join that for me, and before you know it, yeah, to say, Keshev Hashani, Sheva Shanim Keyamim Achadim Be'ahavatoto, the love of Yaakov to Achel was so high that seven years was like a few days. And this is actually how long it takes to finish the Shas, seven, seven and a half years. So imagine the love that you have and the love that grew through learning with Rabbi Sabzevari, and you appreciate it so much, it should be the same love to go and try to finish the whole Shas. Yeah. <laughs>